Hello sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I gathered two of my most favorite Christmas decorating videos, put them into one for you and created a Christmas decorating marathon. They are both clean and decorate so if you want to skip the taking down of fall and just get right into the Christmas decorating, I will leave time stamps for you right in my description box so you can skip through the cleaning and all of that stuff and get right to the decorating. The first one has a lot of neutrals. The second one has beautiful pops of red. And I just hope that this video gives you some inspiration and some decorating ideas. And I cannot wait to start this year. That video will be coming out shortly as well. But let's go ahead and get right into it. And I hope that you guys enjoy today's Christmas decorating marathon. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am kicking off my Christmas decor videos and I cannot wait to share with you how this one turned out. I will be decorating the family room area and I am making several changes in here. This is what I have up right now before I started filming and I had this mantle decorated for the fall and I loved how this turned out. If you have not seen this video, I will leave a card up here if you would like to go back and watch it. But I will be doing some cleaning up in here, but mostly decorating. Okay, so I did take everything off of the mantle and now I am going to be moving the sofa to the wall and moving this hutch right here into the area where my office is. With a smile. If you are joining me today for the very first time, I just want to take a really quick second and say thank you. I truly appreciate that you clicked on today's video and that you are wanting to watch. If you are looking for some fall decorating videos, I will go ahead and leave a card up here. I will also leave a little link that you can click on in my description box with a playlist for all that fall inspiration. But today I'm going to be doing some Christmas and I am so excited about today's video i absolutely loved how this room turned out i cannot wait to do the kitchen that will be my next video but again if you are new here i would love it if you hit that red subscribe button right now and go ahead and click that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any videos that just lets you know when i upload a brand new video so you don't miss out on any of those Okay, so since I took all of my fall decor down and I was going to switch up this room, including like the situation with the furniture and rearrange everything, I really wanted to give my throw rug a really good clean. So I got out my carpet cleaner and that's what I'm going to do. I did purchase this at Target and I love it. I did have to go over this rug several times. It was extremely dirty I do have a dog and I do have some teenage boys so it does definitely get pretty dirty so I'm not going to bore you with going over it three or four times but that's basically what I did and it was all nice and clean by the time I was finished and then I'm just going to be moving my couch I am moving this green couch to my wall and I noticed how much this freed up space in here and it definitely made the room look so much bigger. It's quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with 
Okay, so I just recently purchased this Christmas tree. If you follow me over on Instagram, you will have already known all about this. But I was looking for a Christmas tree that was very lifelike, and I did not want to spend a ton of money. I really like to get a good deal on when I purchase things, and I do not want to skimp on quality. I was a little nervous about this because it was online, but let me tell you, I am so in love with this tree. It is absolutely gorgeous and it had extremely minimal shedding, like hardly any shedding at all. And the quality is just amazing. I mean, look at these pine needles. They look so real and I just love the soft lights and I just think it's very beautiful and this is exactly what I was looking for. If you're interested in this tree, I am going to leave a link in my description box. Just go ahead and click on that link and it will lead you right to this tree so hopefully they still have some in stock and it did not take that long to arrive at my house either so if you're interested i will go ahead and leave that in my description box you were christmas moment will fill with love and joy mm -hmm. so right here i'm just removing all of the fall items that i have in my hutch and then I'm going to start decorating the mantle first and I found this mirror 50% off at Hobby Lobby. I really want to add more gold colors to my decor. I'm really loving that. It gives it that French country look and I just love, love, love that look right now. I know this mirror looks kind of small for this mantle, but I will dress it up with a lot of Christmas decorations and I'm going to also add a very small tree over here it's like a slim pencil tree i purchased this at i believe it was walmart last year and i'm going to go ahead and try to find a link for this tree as well it is a pre-lit tree and um it's really beautiful and it just fits perfectly over here I really love how the flocking gives this room a very neutral tone and I wanted to stick with that over here on the mantle. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding a few garlands up here and then I'm going to add a few across the top. And I did find these garlands at Michael's and I did purchase them I want to say over 10 years ago. So these are not new. And um, I just think it looks really pretty over here. And then in a little bit, I'm going to add a little bit more to this mantle. I will add some lights and some candles to just kind of warm things up. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been long to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? I found these beautiful wooden candlesticks at Home Goods a while back. I want to say maybe a year or two ago. And then I did recently find these battery operated flameless candles online. And I did buy these a couple months ago. So I will go ahead and leave a link for those if you are interested. They come with a remote and they flicker and they're just absolutely gorgeous. Two of my boys are currently in hockey and I thought these cute ice skates were a perfect fit to add up here to complete the look that I have. I think they're adorable and I purchased them at Hobby Lobby last year I believe and then I love this little woven tree skirt and I do believe I found that at Walmart last year. 
Okay, so at this point it is late and I am tired, so I will put the camera down and finish up tomorrow. I will quickly show you behind the scenes in here. It is a disaster, but I am not going to overwhelm myself in staying up too late. So tomorrow is a new day and I will be fully refreshed and ready to decorate. Okay, so clearly it is the next day and I am so refreshed and ready to finish up in here and I am definitely motivated to get everything finished. Right now, I am looking at this mess and having so much anxiety. I don't know if you are like me, but when I take any type of seasonal decor down and I get it out into the rooms that I will be using them in, I just get so much anxiety. It's just a lot to think about and it's just a mess and messes do that. I don't know if anybody out there is like me. I'm sure there is, but so I feel like if I get a little bit more organized, it lessens that stress that I am feeling. So I am taking certain bins and moving them into the other room because I will be using those in those rooms. So. I am taking only the ornaments because right now I only have the Christmas trees to decorate. So I'm just taking those ornaments and for each tree, I'm just going to place them by the trees that I'm going to use them on. And it really does lessen that anxiety and it keeps me so motivated to finish what I'm doing as opposed to just keeping all of my decor out in the same room looking at everything and then just getting so overwhelmed I do not want to do anything. So I'm going to start with my pencil tree and I found these wooden beads I believe at Walmart last year or the year before. Honestly I wish I could remember when I purchased these items but once a year goes by I just I can't remember but if they still have them at Walmart I will try to find a link for that. I'm going to try to find as many links as I can and if there is an item in this video that you are interested in, please do not hesitate to ask down in the comments and I will be more than happy to find a link for you. So the look that I was going for in this room was French country and very neutral. So I am sticking with the neutral colors and I'm going to add little tiny pops of gold in here as well. And I will be doing the same type of colors for both of these trees in here. And I, I just feel like this is what this room needs. I do not want this room to get too overwhelming. This room is not that big. And I feel like with just too many colors, it just gets kind of wild and I didn't want to do that in here. I will be decorating with another tree in the living room and I probably will add some more reds and more traditional colors in there. But for these two trees, I'm sticking with the neutral colors. Music 
I absolutely love how both of these trees turned out. They were not overwhelming and they were very neutral and very elegant looking. And I feel like I had just enough on here. The only other thing I would love to add to this tree is maybe some really pretty beads to string along. And I will keep my eye out for some of those. And I just, I love it. I think everything looks so elegant and beautiful and not too overwhelming. I just love it. So now that I am finished decorating both of these trees in here, I'm going to head on over to my hutch and I will add some subtle hints of Christmas in here as well. And I am going to stay with that neutral look in here as well. That large set of three bottle brush trees was purchased at Home Goods last year, and then I found these adorable little houses at Target in the dollar spot last year or the year before. Again, I don't remember. I'm not sure if they have their Christmas items out in the dollar spot just yet. I'm sure they do because Halloween is over, and once Halloween ends, Christmas begins, and um, they most likely will have them out again but these do light up and I think they're adorable and I love these little ornaments the bottle brush trees here on each side of the houses I found those at Walmart and they were ornaments and I just snipped the top part off and I'm using them here in my hutch and I just think everything looks so pretty in here and I love how I kept everything nice and neutral and everything looks really beautiful with the milk glass and the china that I have in here as well. When I look deep into your eyes Now I'm going to head on back into this area by my sofa and I wanted to cover up this little ottoman that I have. I wanted to kind of dress it up a little bit and I made this cover a few years back and I love the green toile. It matches with my sofa so perfectly and then I'm just going to dress it up and I love using this mirror as a tray and then I'm going to add a little urn like vase and then I'm going to add some pine to that. I did find this little Christmas tree at Target last year in the dollar spot and then I found these beautiful shabby chic um, chippy painted ornaments at an antique shop and then I found this little Christmas wreath at Target Dollar Spot last year and then the Christmas candle was from Home Goods.
thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that it gave you some Christmas decorating ideas and lots of inspiration. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And I will have another video coming out here very shortly. I cannot wait to decorate the kitchen and the other two front rooms. So make sure that you hit that bell so you are notified when those videos come out. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I will be doing some cleaning and some decorating. If you want to skip forward to the decorating part, go ahead and fast forward to the 5 minute 16 second minute mark and you will get right into the decorating. But I love showing a little bit of cleaning before because it's just really nice and refreshing to have a clean space to work in and I feel like that does motivate some of you guys. So I am going to be doing the same deep burgundy color in my Christmas decor as I did in my fall. I loved it so much and I am just really loving those jewel tones. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that into my Christmas decor. When I decorate, I really like to remove as much as I possibly can from the room and just really take a look around and see what I wanna do because I never really have a plan until I am just in the room, kind of looking around, figuring out what I wanna do. And it's really hard for me to do that when I have other things getting in the way of my vision. So what I did was I just removed everything that I knew that I was not going to use and I removed most of the decor that I possibly could like the throw pillows and things that were on my mantle and all that stuff. So here's what we're looking at right now. I have a pretty clean slate to work with and I'm just going to clean my mantle off really well, get rid of all that dust. I like things to be really nice and clean before I put my decor up. I know that through the weeks and months that you have it up, it can get dusty and you really wanna make sure that that space is nice and clean before you start putting all of that decor out. Today I'm going to be using Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day in the fall leaf scent. This is a multi-purpose cleaner and I love using this stuff because it smells really, really good. I haven't purchased any of their Christmas scents yet, but I still have this one left over from fall. I'm just going to use this to clean my mantle, my TV console, and my end tables. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video that you are watching of mine, I want to quickly say thank you so very much. I appreciate you so, so much and I am just really happy to have you here and I hope that you do consider subscribing to my channel as well. I hope that you enjoy today's video. If you are a returning subscriber, I want to thank you also. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be using some of that burgundy color here in my Christmas decor. It's something new to me because I have been decorating more on the neutral side the past few years. If you have not yet watched my Christmas video from last season, I will leave a card up here so you can click on that. I did use neutral tones here in my family room and I absolutely loved it. But for some reason, when I did the jewel tones in my fall decor, it was just something that I really, really loved. I loved that contrast that I had in here with all of the whites and creams with those deeper jewel tones. 
What I've always loved most about decorating is that you can use the same things that you have over and over and over and kind of place them in different places in your house and just switch things up a little bit and they don't feel like the same boring thing all the time. You really don't have to run out and purchase new decor every season and buy all kinds of new stuff. That is what I have always loved about decorating. I'm always finding new ways to use old items. And for me, this has saved me a ton of money and it just, it's a lot of fun and I really do enjoy it. Last season, I had a pencil tree here in this corner and I had this larger tree that I'm setting up now over off to the right side of my fireplace. This year, I'm putting it up here in this corner, so I did have to move my console over just a little bit. The offsetting of my TV might bother me a little bit. I might have to put something, maybe like a small tree up on the left side of that console just to even things out. I don't know, there will be two parts of this decorating video, so we'll see. But I love this tree. I purchased this tree last season and I am so in love with it. I highly recommend buying this. It has a very lifelike look to it. The shedding is extremely minimal for a flocked tree. The quality is just so, so good. And um, this is not sponsored, but I love this tree. I shared it last season when I set it up and there are a few of you that have messaged me earlier this season and said that you purchased it last year and you love it as well. And it does sell out super fast. I will leave a link down in my description box for it if you are interested. But I just wanna quickly show you how minimal the shedding is. I set this tree up and fluffed it and all that stuff and there was hardly any flocking left on the floor. I found this tin tree skirt last season and I love it. I did set this up in my other room last year and this year I'm going to be using it here. I just thought it went really well with what I was doing in here. I think I used a woven basket tree skirt for this tree last year and it went really well with my neutral decor. I feel like this white tin would look so much better with what I'm doing this year. I will also leave a link to this in my description box. I'm not gonna decorate the tree just yet because I'm still thinking about what I'm going to use and the ornaments I'm gonna pull out. So I decided to start decorating my mantle. I absolutely love these little Christmas village sets and I usually set this up in my other room but I had asked my son Shane what he thought I should do and he thought that it would look really good on the mantle. So I went ahead and took his advice and I am so happy that I did because I love looking at this. I feel like it is so festive and it really reminds me of my childhood for some reason. And I just love it. I love that I set this up on my mantle instead of some other type of decor. I feel like it is more of a center piece in this room. And I just think it looks so incredibly gorgeous. There were a few bulbs that were burnt out, so I had to make a quick trip to Walmart. And I ended up buying a few things there. Not a lot, but I will go ahead and share with you what I did get. And I used night light light bulbs. I'm not sure if those are the exact type of bulbs that you're supposed to use in here. I couldn't find any specifically for these little houses. So I used night light light bulbs and um, they worked out really well. And I am loving what it's looking like so far. I still have a lot to put out. I needed some of this Christmas drape and I love using this stuff because it's so easy to hide all of those cords that you get from those villages and it just makes everything look so much more festive. In the past I have taken scissors and just kind of cut this up and fit it to where I am placing it. This year I just ripped it and I feel like it looks so much prettier when you rip it because it has that look of snow just like it has just fallen and I'm going to share how I draped it off on the corners and show you how I did that but um, 
I think this stuff is really cool. Last year I used a flaky snow. It comes in the bags and it's like in tiny little pieces. And as beautiful as it was, it was extremely messy and I will never use that stuff again. So this stuff is so much better and I believe it was like $3 and change for the whole bag. Here is what it's looking like so far. I think it looks beautiful and it hides those cords so perfectly. I'm gonna come back and finish decorating this here in a little bit. I need to go find the rest of the pieces with all the little people and the trees and all that stuff. I'm not quite done over here. I will come back to it, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like with all of that beautiful snow. I'm going to quickly share what I just got at Walmart because I had to run in and get some more of those little light bulbs for my village and I came across a few other things that I ended up buying and I wanted to share with you what I got. I'm going to share them all. So I found this eucalyptus, so pretty. I'm going to kind of intertwine it in with this garland that I got. It is the six foot garland and it is so pretty. It looks so real. And there were two, I almost grabbed both of them, but I feel like I just need one. But it is like real, it has like a very life, like realistic feel to it. And I'm gonna, um, <clears throat> I'm going to put this on my hutch and then add a little bit of this eucalyptus. And I got five or four of these and they were like $5 a piece. I also found some really pretty ribbon of the exact color that I wanna use on my Christmas tree and um, my garland. So I'm gonna use the smaller um, width on my tree and then I got this cream colored one as well but I'm going to use the smaller width on my tree and then probably the larger one with the garland and the eucalyptus and then I found this candle I am not a fan of patchouli at all but this candle smells so incredibly good it is with patchouli bergamot green apple jasmine neroli and cedar scent notes and it smells so incredibly good so I had to grab one and then of course I needed some more ornament hooks and then I thought these um, lamp posts were so cute and I'm gonna add them to my village and then I grabbed two of these extension cords and I'm using one now I just added it over there so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some of this ribbon on my tree I think I'm gonna do very minimal ornaments on this tree because I just think it looks so beautiful as it is. So I'm just going to add a few vintage looking ornaments. Okay, so these are the ornaments that I believe I had on this tree last year and they are glass and I think they're so, so pretty and they have like a vintage look to them. So I'm going to add these and then I have a couple other vintage style ornament I think I'm going to add to there as well. but. Um, let's go ahead and start adding some ribbon to this tree and a few ornaments. So when I cut my ribbon, I make sure that they're all the same length. So I go through and cut all of the pieces at once before I get started. And I did use one whole roll for my tree, which isn't very much. And like I said, I wanted to do minimal decorating on here. I felt like if I did too much ribbon, it would just look really weird. So I went ahead and cut all of my strips first and then I started um, tying little bows where I wanted them to go. And this looks so pretty. I've never tied ribbon on my Christmas trees before and it was very simple and it just gives a very elegant, pretty look.
No, he wouldn't miss this in his first times. This decorating, just for what you saw me do, did take quite a while and I started later in the afternoon. So the day was getting away with me. I had dinner to make and hockey practice to go to and just a lot of things just kind of caught up with me. So I let this sit and I came back to it the next day. And um, sometimes that's better to do because then you don't get so overwhelmed. So this is the next morning and I am ready to go and ready to finish decorating. Sitting by the fire and dream Tell me again with a whisper So I want to quickly share what I did finish last night and I added some more ornaments to this tree. I didn't film it because I was running out of that beautiful light but I do wanna share what it looks like now. I found these ticking ornaments that I purchased a year or two ago at Hobby Lobby. I love those, they have a vintage look to them. And then I also strung some beautiful beads which have like a gold and silver color to them. I used these last year on this tree and then I hung up those glass ornaments that I shared with you earlier in the video. And then over here on my mantle, I did add a little bit to this village. I found some bottle brush trees and added those to my mantle. So I pulled out the rest of my pieces for this village and I'm going to add those now and I love this. I love adding all the little people and all the extra stuff to this village. I just absolutely love it. Let me know down in the comments if you have a Christmas village that you set up every year. And of course I had to add those hockey players because my boys play hockey. Thank you. 
I am not quite done over here. I still want to add a little bit of garland to the front of this mantle, but I'm going to come back to it because I'm still thinking about how I want to place this. So right now I'm going to head on over into more of the kitchen area and I'm going to start to decorate my hutch. I absolutely love decorating my hutch and I'm going to be using that six foot garland that I found at Walmart as well as that eucalyptus. So obviously I found the six foot garland over in the Christmas section, but for this eucalyptus I found over in their craft area. So if you are looking for the eucalyptus, it is an everyday item and you're gonna find it over in the craft area as well as this ribbon that I will be using today. So for every season, I always decorate my hutch for spring, summer, fall, Christmas. I always have it decorated and most of the time I do have some type of floral or vine or garland or something up here on the top. So I do have command hooks that are permanently placed up here. I do believe that the one on the left may have broke and fell off and I really didn't need to put another one up there because the center one and the one on the right held it really secure. So once I have my garland up, I am going to take little pieces of my eucalyptus and just kind of place them throughout the garland. And I'm kind of weaving them in and out of the pine pieces. So I'm gonna kind of overlap it and make it look like it's kind of all one piece and you'll see as I'm placing it I'm not using any glue or wire or anything they can easily just kind of stick in the garland and they hold really really well I feel like this garland didn't really have a tail end if that makes sense so I wanted it to look really pretty as it cascaded down the sides so I just kind of stuck that eucalyptus right at the very end and again I didn't need any wire or glue or anything so I want to show you exactly how I did this. I stopped right at the center because I'm going to start going in the opposite direction now. That way it looks really pretty as if it's just naturally falling and cascading. And it looks really even this way and you really can't tell, but it just all falls beautifully this way. Such a constellation, right? No, you agree. Made a reputation for ourselves at age 18. We had the devil on our shoulders telling us what we should do. I wonder if you think about me too. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold. And here is what it looks like all finished and I am so in love with this. I think it looks so incredibly beautiful. It added so much more depth and texture to this beautiful garland already and I just love this look. It's so festive and gorgeous and I almost didn't add that ribbon because I just felt like this was enough but I did want to add a pop of color over here. So now that this garland is all finished, I am going to add a few pieces of ribbon to each side. I can hear the I decided that I didn't want to tie my bows directly to my garland. I felt like it might get messy or pieces might fall off or whatever. So I decided to make my bows first and then attach them with some wire. So what I did was I took a pin and I tied my ribbon to the pin and made a pretty bow. And then for the piece that my pin was through, I'm going to take my floral wire and thread that through the hole where the pin was. And then that way I can attach the floral wire to my garland and have a perfectly pretty bow. No, 
always falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas when everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy, but now this year is twice as special. Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter. I really wanted to add more of that burgundy color over here, but I didn't want to add more bows. I just didn't want it to get crazy with the ribbon. And I thought, wow, it would look really pretty if I decorated this planter box with some of those florals that I had left over from fall. And it will also add a center of that burgundy color between the two ribbons as well. Or is it just your eyes that have lit something in me? See you coming closer from across the room. My heart is pounding really fast. I don't know what to do. Could we find Once I had my florals in this planner box, I wanted to add something that said Christmas just a little bit more than what I had in here. So I took some pieces of some pine that I had in one of my bins and just kind of place it in there to fill some of the holes. And I love this. It looks so, so pretty. Now I'm just going to finish decorating in here using some pine pieces throughout and maybe some bottle brush trees and some other little tiny pieces of Christmas decor.
I really wanted to hang a pretty tassel here on the knobs in the front cabinet, but I didn't have any and I didn't want to go out and buy anything. So I decided to use these oversized ornaments that have a distressed look and I found these at an antique store three years ago. I am so happy how this hutch turned out. It is simple yet beautiful and elegant. I feel like this would look just as beautiful if you were using neutral colors, if you had something similar to my planner box and used some beautiful white Christmas florals and then maybe a cream colored ribbon instead of a burgundy ribbon. But this turned out really pretty and I am so happy with how it looks. So now I'm gonna head back into the family room and I have given it a lot of thought and I pulled out a few of my bins and I just went through what I had and I decided what I was going to place up here on my mantle. I have had these garlands for years and years and I decided to put them up here because they are flocked and I am going to be using some command hooks to hold them in place. So I just shared what those were and I'm gonna show you a closer look once I have those up but I'm just placing the command hooks right up top and I can hide them really well with that snow. So it makes them very easy to place and hide. And I just love using command hooks with all of my garlands. Here's a closer look at those command hooks and how exactly that I did put those here up on my mantle. So now I'm gonna place my garland up here and I'm gonna work with it for a little bit because I wasn't quite sure how I wanted it to hang. But in the end, I just have tiny little loops and I think it looks really pretty. At first when I was placing this up here, I thought that it might be too much. I loved that it had a very clean look on the front, but I really wanted this to be a festive area over here. And once I was finished, this garland look absolutely beautiful and I went ahead with a flocked garland that I already had like I said earlier I loved that it was flocked and that it matched the Christmas tree that was also flocked I've had this garland as long as I could remember I want to say before I even moved into this house which was over six years ago and I do remember that I did purchase this at Michael's I'm not sure if they have this exact one still but um, I know they have beautiful garlands there and I just love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And to finish this look over here, I am placing my white fireplace screen back up here. And I did find the screen at Hobby Lobby probably four years ago. I'm not sure if they still have it, but it was a black color and I ended up painting it white. But I did find that at Hobby Lobby. I do get asked about that screen. A lot so I just wanted to let you know that I did find that at Hobby Lobby I felt like my table was missing something in the kitchen and I will get to a Christmas decorate with me video for the kitchen specifically, but I really wanted to put an arrangement together. I had some white flowers that were blooming beautifully in my backyard and I'm going to use this chamber pot that I found at an antique store a while ago. And normally I would use a floral tape for this, but I'm gonna use some regular scotch tape and I just wanted to make sure that that top part was nice and dry before I placed the tape up here. But I'm making grids and this just helps keep the flowers from kind of falling out because this is a shallow container that I am using.
Now that I have my iceberg roses placed in this container, I wanted it to add a little more of a Christmas look to this. So I'm taking some of my floral picks of pine and just kind of filling them in the empty spaces. So the last part of this video, I'm just going to add a little more coziness to this family room and I'm going to do that by adding some cozy throw pillows and some blankets to this sofa. I'm also going to add a beautiful candle centerpiece to my coffee table. One of the best ways to cozy up a room is to add a fluffy throw blanket. I get most of my throw blankets at a store called Minky Couture. You can purchase these online or if you live near a store, you can pick them up directly. But they are the best and most coziest blankets ever. And then I went with more of a neutral look for my larger sized pillows. These are some pillow covers in a linen with a beautiful ruffle on the end for the larger ones and then i had some nice and soft pillows from last season and then i used my toile printed throw pillows that i also had for fall right here and i love these i love that it had that red in there and then i had a merry christmas ticking pillow that i put right in the center and i found the merry christmas pillow at um, home goods. I also found the fur pillows at home goods as well and then the other two were purchased online and then I just used some candlesticks that I found at Michael's and Hobby Lobby and I used a trade mirror and I found the trade mirror at Michael's but I feel like everything looks so incredibly cozy and beautiful and I am just so happy with this look. That is it for today's video. I hope that it has inspired you and given you lots of decorating ideas for the Christmas season. I hope that you truly enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Say hi in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite part of today's video was. I would love to know. And I will see you all in part two of my Christmas decorating. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you click out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys all have an amazing day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.